students of civil engineering. As part of the civil engineering program, I shall start off to introduce to you the transportation aspect of the civil engineering program. Now, transportation engineering is about the movement of people and goods in a safe, efficient and comfortable manner. Now, in this aspect, we are actually very critical in building a future Singapore society amidst disruptive economy and concerns about uh, the equity part of our society. Now, as a transportation engineer in Singapore, you'll be involved in the development of car light and autonomous vehicle society. Now, in this aspect, you will be very important in driving the future of the Singapore's future urban landscape. We are, you will be also involved in new mega transportation infrastructure construction, such as the Changi Airport Terminal 5, Tuas Mega Port, Cross Island Line, Jurong, uh, Jurong Regional Line, and the high speed rail between Singapore and Malaysia. Now, how will NUS actually help you in creating to realize, uh, in helping you to realize your dream? For example, you'll be and uh, you'll be having classes on transportation engineering, intelligent transportation systems, data analytics, and artificial intelligence. You'll be involved in a vibrant culture whereby uh, the academic staff over here are very active in transportation research in, and practice in Singapore and beyond. You'll be immersed in a network of alumni who will be very uh, uh, helpful to you in the future when you're looking for a job. And last but not least, you will learn how to remain relevant as a transportation engineer, whether in Singapore or in other parts of the world. Thank you. Here in NUS Civil Engineering, we prepare our graduates to build infrastructure of the future. Uh, there are a few areas that we are working on. And uh, one is the modular construction. You have probably have seen modules which are lifted like Lego blocks and then placed on site. It uh, provides a safe, clean working environment. And uh, in recent ep uh, epidemics, you have seen the importance of uh, such construction where hospitals could be built rapidly to save lives. Another area that uh, we are working on is uh, sustainable building materials. Uh, concrete kept, uh, as, uh, produces a lot of carbon dioxide it, and also consumes a lot of raw resources like uh, river sand. Uh, we train our graduates to be prepared for the future to come up with green building materials. Probably uh, building mat concrete that can capture carbon dioxide to mitigate climate change. The last area, the, so, uh, our graduates uh, will be expected to become uh, infrastructure doctors. Uh, we know that structures uh, age and deteriorate and with this deterioration, we put in more sensors and monitor our structures and our graduates will, uh, we, we train our graduates to be, become the uh, infrastructure doctors to monitor the health of the structures and then to heal the structures of the future. Thank you. Management of water, one of the most important yet middling natural resources that requires utilization of most advanced science and technology and requires talented young minds to help us cope with the challenges that are ahead of us. The issues associated with urbanization and increasingly a climate change that requires innovative solutions not only to address problems that we have today but also problems that we will be facing in the future in the next two, three or four decades. Here at NUS we offer a most exciting and relevant civil engineering program that also addresses issues associated with water management and climate. We are well equipped, uh, we have great laboratories, we not only study hydraulics and hydrology, we also work with data science, with artificial intelligence and machine learning to really bring the latest science to opportunities. I really hope you can join us in this most exciting program and help your society, your neighbours, your nation to improve and tackle the challenges of today and of the future. Here in NUS, we have a very strong geotechnical engineering team. Geotechnical engineers deal with, or not many people know, that in the past 50 years, we have increased the Singapore land mass by 25% through reclamation. Everybody familiar with reclaiming the Changi for a new airport, reclaiming Jurong Island, reclaiming the Tuas area for a whole new megapop. In fact, due to the climate change effect, sea water is rising. In fact, we have to come up with new technology to protect all this new reclaimed land 
and one of the new method is polder, P-O-L-D-R. Me and my colleagues and a number of my students are working with a government agency engineers to do to conduct research and really train up in the Tikal Island here now, and you have a chance to get involved in that. In addition, geotechnical engineer also have solved the problem of digging underground. We are building a lot of MRT, deep tunnel, and all this a very difficult, complex problem. Fortunately, we have a very sophisticated geotechnical instrument or equipment. We call it geotechnical centrifuge, of which you can do a modeling to simulate the actual ground condition 30 meter, 40 meter in the ground. And that equipment, I'm proud to say, we're the only university in Southeast Asia having that equipment. Welcome you and see you in NUS.